too real for this. I'm too real for this. Why you thinking you a kid? Good morning, guys. It is about 8:30. Actually, it's about 8:45. I woke up about 20 minutes ago. First thing I'm doing is I'm getting something to eat. So here I got a little under half, under um, one and a half servings of oatmeal. I put some blueberries in it, and then I also put that uh, protein powder. I just put one scoop. So it tastes pretty good. Um, gives it a little chocolate taste, and then the blueberries um, are always good to add. So next stop is going to be the gym, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys in the car and I told you yesterday I was gonna try this monster energy drink so let's give it a shot it kind of tastes like Sprite so this will be pretty good so I'm gonna sip on this on the way there all right guys so I'm here I'm just waiting for my friends to get here so right now I'm gonna do a warm-up so that'll be that it's it going again guys today is chest and triceps day and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about today's workout so the first exercise we did is called a close grip incline press uh, comboed with a chest fly so basically this is just a compound movement to get the blood flowing get us more warmed up I started with 25 pounds and I worked my way up to 30 pounds um, doing 10 reps for four sets and that was pretty good. Uh, the next exercise, another compound movement, is the flat bench press. I started off with 12 reps at 75 pounds, and I finished off with eight reps at 115 pounds. Now you don't see it here, but I wasn't actually able to do 115 for all eight reps, so that's why it's good to have some workout buddies so you can get those last few reps in. Uh, so the next thing we did is the underhand cable fly. Now this is probably the most weird exercise. Basically you start with the cables down at your waist and you raise up. Now in these clips our form is not exactly correct. It's, we're supposed to be doing a more of a fly motion. We figured that out at the last two sets that we did. We didn't record those but we fixed that. These are very hard to do. I stayed at 12 and a half pounds each hand so yeah definitely good exercise there you just got to be able to do it right um, then we moved on to the decline dumbbell press this one you definitely need workout partners for I used uh, 35 pounds at 12 reps and then I worked my way up to 40 pounds with 8 reps 40 pounds seem to be a pretty good weight and this is another pyramiding type of uh, setup where you start at high reps and you work your way down to low reps with a higher weight. Now we're moving on to the tricep movements. Uh, I started off with the easy bar skull crushers. We first started off using 50 pounds uh, for 10 reps. And we did that for four sets. 50 pounds seemed to be pretty good, so we just stayed with that. The next exercise we moved on to it was rope extensions, or it's a variation of the rope extension. So for these, we did 12 reps of three sets. I started with 30 pounds, and I just stayed there for all 12 for all three sets. So finally, we moved on to the cross bench dips. You can, there's many variations of this. You can either have no weight or you can increase the weight. You can also start off with your feet on the ground and you can also bend your knees to make it even easier. So I used a 45 pound plate and that was for 10 reps. I did uh, four sets of 10 with the 45 on my lap. What's up guys? We just finished the workout and right now we're just cooling down, stretching. Yeah! Got Oscar over there. That's it. Got Edgar right here. Right here. Got me right here. 
So, I'll see you guys later. All right, guys. So, if you guys didn't catch it, this is Edgar. That's Oscar. I want to thank them for helping me film today. <laughs> uh, these are the guys I've been working out with. So, I will see you guys later. Are you thinking you look cute oh! today? when most people make it. Hey guys, how's it going? It is almost four o'clock now, and I'm done with work. And I'm here at the gym, which I have neglected to do on the weekends. Today is another leg day, and this will be the last workout of this phase. Starting on Monday, I'm moving on to week 10, which starts a whole another phase which introduces supersets and a few different exercises into my plan. So, let's finish this workout strong and be ready for the next phase. All right guys, workout is done. Now, it's time to go home, because I'm tired. So, I'll see you guys later. What's up guys? As you can see, it's the next day. It's almost four o'clock, and right now, I'm gonna have my next meal for today. So what I've got here is just some fajita chicken. This is six ounces, so that's a total of 42 grams of protein. And I have a small like protein shake thing. I just put the protein powder in, in a milk. So that is another like 24 grams of protein. So just getting in that protein. That's what this meal is main, mainly for. So, that's what's going on with me. I'll see you guys later. What's up guys? I'm here again to wrap up the day. It is 10 o'clock. So I woke up today at 158.8. So that is 1.4 pounds down from two days ago. Uh, so I went a little over on everything today. I did reach my protein goal. I went way over on my carbs and went pretty far over on my fat. Today was also a rest day. Still had that protein shake earlier just to make sure I get my protein in. Um, but I mean sometimes this happens where you go over. That's fine. I didn't go significantly over. Be right back on track tomorrow so it's no big deal. Anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>